so what i was saying in that video is that nature is powerful uh if two siblings marry the genetic diversity will be so narrow that the children will be born deformed all right if brother and sister marry they will produce children that will most likely have some genetic disorders all right like all this Tourette syndrome uh, kleptomania and stuff you get so nature is smart so when children are getting into their early reproductive years i'm talking about from 14 to somewhere around 23 24 nature will make them hate their parents and hate their environment and inspire them to move away, move away from their uh, population or community so that they will find wives and husbands elsewhere in another community and procreate you understand <laughs> So, but nature is also amazing. After they are procreated, they might come back and rejoin their community. So, between ages 14 and 24, you will find yourself totally disagreeing with your father, your mother. Your mother is the worst person in the world. Your father is the worst person in the whole world. You will be inspired to move out. Some people will tell you that they don't want to do university in their state. They think it's just their thought coming. No, it's your biology. But your biology wants to move away from your state. And you'll be surprised if you go do schooling elsewhere, that's the, the likelihood that you find a wife or husband that place or settle that place will be higher. That's how nature made the human race to survive. You get what I'm saying? So if you are a young person growing up now and you are having arguments with your father and you're quarreling with your father, just know that it's normal. By the time you graduate from university and start seeing what other men saw, you will believe what the other men believed. You get what I'm saying? So I want you to share this video to your family group for younger, young ladies, young guys, trying out new careers, thinking that their parents are stupid. Your parents are not stupid. Do you understand? So those things they are telling you to do might look stupid to you because nature wants you to try out something else. It's okay to try out something else, but you need to understand the reason why they don't want you to do that. There's a reason. They are trying to protect you. They can see things you can't see. So even if you are going out there to try out something new, a new career, you should have at the back of your mind that safety is necessary. For instance, you might be pursuing a, a music career and your father will silver his dead body. You must finish school first. And then you guys will have a big clash and then he disowns you. You know, there are many fathers that have disowned their sons. Why? If you understand this thing as a father, you know that all you need is patience and support the young man. He may not see things the way you are saying it. For some years at least 10 to 20 years he's not gonna see things the way you say it until he's through that phase then he becomes a man or she becomes a woman and then what you're saying will start making sense to them so many people will not understand their father until they marry their own wives and then you see what your father saw then you understand what your father understood in fact in Igbo language we we have a quote that says that whenever a boy grows into a man he's gonna see what other men saw you get what i'm saying <laughs> so it's normal for younger adults to feel that their parents are, are crazy or stupid or totally wrong. When I was growing up, I thought my father was the most wicked man in the whole world because I was in school at the same time with my sister. And then I would call my father to send me money because my pocket money has finished. My father would say, there's no money. I'll be like, so how do you want me to survive? He said, you're a man. Go and figure out how to survive for the next one week. My money, uh, the next time I'm sending you money is... At the end of the month now i have a, a week or two where i have to figure out how to survive what to eat crazy it happened quite often while i was in school that i eventually figured out how to survive with nothing you know i've gone to a country that the only money that entered the country with me is 200 naira not 200 dollar not 200 pounds I'm in a foreign country with Naira currency, and that is my heaven and earth, my whole everything, 200 Naira in my pocket. Was I scared? Nah, I've seen worse, man. I survived. You get what I'm saying? So, because I learned it in school. Now, as an adult, I can understand why my father did some of those things. Because when he would tell me that he doesn't have money, if I call my sister, my sister would say that my, uh, this month, my father sent more money than uh, he normally sends. Like he will send extra to my sister while he will tell me that he has no money. So back then as a student, I was like, let's say 1920. I'll be like, my father is the worst person. What is this that is special about my sister that she, he will always send extra? 
Now, as an adult, I've seen that if I had a son in university, I'll probably take the same kind of decision. Money must not finish in the hands of your female children. Never. Because when it finishes, that's when the devil's temptation comes in. They might do things they're not supposed to do, which will result, result in a lifetime regret. But your sons must not have money all the time. They have to learn how to manage money. You get, but as a young person, there's nothing you want to tell me that makes sense to me why this man did not send me money this month. Some guy wants to kill me. What the hell? I would start going room by room. I was in school that time asking people to borrow me money. By the time you ask 15 people, one person will give you 1,000 naira. That 1,000, you now have to figure out how to stretch the 1,000 to last you two weeks. Have to figure out strategies to stretch it. You have to think of business ideas that will give you money today today, not the one that you run for two years and get funding. <laughs> Do you understand? At the same time, at the end of the semester, I have to show my father my result. I have to pass for me to get the school fees for the next. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. So when you're growing up as a young person, it's normal for nature to make you to hate your house, disagree with them, have a totally different idea and perspective of life, but just know that it's a phase. And during that phase, you don't want to make permanent uh, mistakes. Yes, it's okay to go out and make mistakes. For instance, you don't want to overspeed and have um, be paralyzed and have an accident and be paralyzed. You get what I'm saying? You don't want to um, go, um, go into a career and ruin your chances in that career and not have any other career at all. For instance, you don't want to drop out. Of so nature is constantly trying to make you to go out there and achieve more than the community you were born into. That's why you have different ideas. There was once a story about a young man that took fuel. I don't know the dispute he was having with his father. He took fuel and poured on the man and lighted it. The man being a strong man grabbed the bucket of fuel and poured on the boy and held him. Both of them burnt. You'll be surprised that in 10, 15 years time, when the boy is married and have two or three kids, he will start seeing what his father saw. And he'll be, he might make the same decisions his father made. You know, but now he has made a permanent mistake, which is burning himself. So there are people that have made permanent mistakes during this phase of their life. Try not to be that person. It's okay to try out new careers. It's okay to go to new places. It's okay to disagree with your parents, but don't make permanent mistakes. That's where many people miss it. And if you're a parent and your children start challenging, you just know that it's a period. Eventually, they will understand. If you're just patient, by the time they're crossing 25 to 30, 35, they will understand. Because by that time, they are now men. You know, there are many young ladies now that want to go into... Um, different things and their parents will be warning them don't do that don't do that she will not understand she's all over the street she's with different men she's all over the place you know until she she does some terrible mistakes by the time she's 35 all those things her mother told her will start sinking in start sinking in meanwhile those hormones that were making her putting her all over the place has calmed down so as a young person whatever your parents are telling you they are not stupid at least it kept them to that point it doesn't mean that they are always right. You can, you can be more correct than them. You can have more information than them and you're correct. But at the same time, you need to put safety at the back of your mind and do whatever you're doing with intelligence. 